he stops dead in his tracks and looking the other way. Sprocket helped save a life when he stopped in that moment. Wait, quiet, quiet, quiet. And we heard a faint, you know, help. Hey guys, hey guys, help. I fell. A man in his early 70s slipped off a boulder and broke his ankle when he fell into the creek below. So now here he is, he's soaking wet. He's on his back, he can't get up. Zabraski and his three friends ran down to get him. The man was alert and awake, yelling out trail names and locations. Somebody needs to go and get search and rescue. That is my only way out. Zabraski said there was no cell phone service, and all he kept thinking was, How are we going to get this guy out of here? One of Zabraski's friends finally got one bar of cell service and called 911. While a group of them stayed with the man, Zabraski and the others hiked a mile back to the trailhead to meet the rescue team. She goes, hey, can you shed some more information on where this guy's at? I said, yeah, he's right here. Zabraski used his Google location tracker to get the exact coordinates. Search and rescue say the man was extremely lucky, with temperatures dropping into the 30s. If we didn't find him by probably early morning, he would have died of hypothermia. It took eight hours for the man to be rescued. Zabraski says the craziest part of it all was that they had made a wrong turn earlier in their hike, going the complete opposite way from their original plan. The thing that stuck with everybody was wrong place, right time. I, I don't know, but it's, incredible. it's weird how things work out. In Poland, Keely Lovern, WKBN 27 First News.